So uh, today we'll be checking out the WooCommerce WhatsApp Purchase Assistant plugin that basically allows the WooCommerce store owners to create a seamless web store and mobile commerce sales channel experience using the WhatsApp with the features like shopping bot, placing orders on the WhatsApp, receiving various order related notifications, showing custom WhatsApp buttons on the product card pages and much more. Kind of note that uh, this particular uh, plugin, that's the WooCommerce WhatsApp Purchase Assistant plugin, supports all product types uh, for the default WooCommerce and it also works for the registered as well as for the guest users. So you can make use of this plugin in the testing as well as in the production mode. But for the production mode, uh, you'll have to have the WhatsApp business uh, access and uh, it's uh, usually uh, being uh, approved by the WhatsApp itself. So after having that particular business uh, WhatsApp account, you can make use of this particular plugin for the production purposes as well. So today I'll just show you the workflow at the storefront and the rest of the uh, features that are there and how the web store admin would be able to set up uh, the plugin from the backend in the last. But before that, uh, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at uh, the WooCommerce store and I'm on the shop page right now. After enabling this particular uh, plugin and configuring it from the admin backend, the customers or the guest users can see WhatsApp icon as you can see here on the category page. Now the same uh, is visible on the uh, product pages as well. So here I'm on the Flying Ninja and here we have the WhatsApp uh, button itself. So it's uh, the label for the same can be set up from the configuration of this particular plugin. So uh, for now we have set it as purchase on WhatsApp. Now uh, this uh, plugin helps uh, the uh, uh, visitors or the uh, users to directly uh, make access and uh, of the uh, what we say as of the product within the WhatsApp and from the WhatsApp they can place the orders as well uh, using the social uh, what we say as the sales channel itself. Now, uh, now let's see how this particular uh, plugin works for the uh, registered users. So for that, what I'll be doing is I'll first log into my account for my customer account, and uh, then we'll be seeing the rest of the details there. So I'll just log into my account here. Now let's go to the shop page. Let me scroll down. Let's purchase this Happy Ninja one. So we'll just tap on that. Now one more thing is there that uh, if uh, you add a product into the cart, for example, if I add it to the cart and then I go to the view cart uh, section, then uh, here as well, if I scroll down, uh, just below the proceed to checkout button, you can see another button that's for the purchase on WhatsApp here. So that's how the uh, store admin can set up the uh, option for the customers uh, so that they can make use of the WhatsApp purchase assistant on the product pages, on the category pages, and within the cart itself. So the customer just needs to tap on the purchase on WhatsApp and then he'll be forwarded further to complete his uh, purchase there using the WhatsApp itself. And uh, kind of know that uh, whenever a customer is registering on the WooCommerce store, the mobile number that he has entered at that time uh, is basically used to send out the uh, uh, replies back onto the WhatsApp. So uh, the phone number that you've uh, used should be uh, registered on the WhatsApp as well so as to help you out with the uh, automatic assistant there for purchase uh, for purchasing the products within the WhatsApp itself. So uh, now let's go ahead and let's uh, tap here in the uh, purchase on uh, WhatsApp button. Uh, before pr uh, proceeding for the purchase on the WhatsApp, uh, can you note that uh, all of the shoppers receive notifications based on their performed activities like placed orders and auto cancellation on the WhatsApp uh, itself. And uh, I've already shown you where this uh, particular WhatsApp uh, widget uh, is visible on the product category and within the cart itself. And now you can see that the uh, customer, after tapping there on the uh, purchase on WhatsApp, can find this particular section here and uh, so he'll have to open his whatsapp on his uh, mobile uh, device then he has to go to the menu or settings and then select the whatsapp web and then point uh, his uh, phone to the screen here on the top right hand corner the qr code that we can see so scanning the qr code locks the uh, customer here uh, on the web uh, whatsapp itself 
so uh, let's proceed with it and uh, let me uh, do that so I'll just uh, uncheck this option uh, for the time being so you can see that I've just uh, scanned the QR code using my WhatsApp there and choosing the WhatsApp uh, web so all of my account details are here as you can see and uh, on the left hand I have all of my uh, uh, contacts and uh, and now uh, I can basically uh, make use as you can see that I want to purchase a product there so I'll just hit enter for that and you can see that the chat is with the business account here and uh, you can see that uh, my telephone number for whatsapp that's this one is not connected to the sandbox so uh, we need to connect it first by sending join now uh, let me show you how we can uh, basically uh, connect the number to the uh, sandbox you can check the user guide for a better understanding as well so uh, first of all I'll just take you to the uh, uh, Twilio end uh, so you'll have to navigate to twilio.com you'll have to enter your email tap on the next button and now we'll be entering the uh, password and uh, tapping here on the login button so now we are logged into our uh, Twilio account here and uh, we have the whatsapp uh, notification trial section there now let me tap here no thanks so uh, here you'll find your uh, account id and the authentication uh, token for uh, configuring the uh, Twilio in the backend panel of this particular plugin now uh, how to have the number there so for that what you'll have to do is you'll have to navigate to uh, twilio.com forward slash console forward slash sms forward slash whatsapp forward slash learn now here you can see try whatsapp so from here you'll have to uh, uh, you'll find one code here that you need to uh, put here uh, within the web and uh, that's the join draw hyphen property and that way uh, you'll be all set and the sandbox can now send and receive the messages from the actual whatsapp uh, at twilio this is the Tw twilio uh, number and uh, if you want to stop uh, then uh, you can uh, reply stop to leave the sandbox anytime now uh, hereafter after the verification there uh, we can see that the message has been received we'll just tap here on this uh, send one way message so here we are on the send a uh, one way uh, whatsapp message so uh, we can uh, try and send a message with one of the templates as you can see here so for example uh, let's go to the uh, tap here on the appointment uh, reminder and uh, let's tap here on the uh, what we say as the uh, make request so it's it would go on this particular number that we have so here you can see the uh, appointment is coming up on July 21st at 3 p.m. Uh, this particular message has been sent out on to the customers uh, whatsapp on the web itself so now let's go back so that was how we can request the same and now let's go for the two-way uh, message system so uh, it will automatically uh, check the same and uh, now uh, for example uh, if I go to the whatsapp I enter test you can see it has been delivered there and here you can see the same uh, messages visible here uh, from and to values of the telephone numbers are there and we can also tap here in the send reply button if I come back to this section and tap here on the make request and uh, thereafter we will be configuring the sandbox so I just tap here on the next uh, button that we have and uh, that would finalize uh, the uh, programmable messaging there uh, for the uh, whatsapp itself so here uh, you can see that we are on this section and we have received one more message so here you can see that if you want to place an order please select a new order request uh, from the valid source so for now we'll just go back so here we'll have to uh, set up the uh, urls here for the uh, status call back url and uh, so i'll just uh, replace this uh, with uh, this particular URL as you can see demo webpool.com forward slash uh, uh, whatsapp purchase assistant and uh, thereafter I'll just go ahead and I'll just tap here on the save uh, button 
and now after coming back to this uh, place uh, after tapping with the uh, purchase on whatsapp after we have configured it correctly i can just hit enter so you can see that i've uh, set up the details of this uh, particular uh, product so uh, after we have entered this uh, we'll be able to or the customers will be able to select the shipping method so as to proceed further and they will have to enter the number of, for example if you want to go for the flat rate choose one entering one would display uh, the options to make the payment and from there the customer can choose any one of them to make a purchase so uh, for example if you go for a three then uh, you will see that the order would be placed successfully and you will get uh, the message for uh, your purchase as well as the order id as you can see and an email is also sent out uh, for the order confirmation with the details and the tracking info at that very moment and in case uh, uh, the order has uh, been cancelled uh, you can see that uh, the particular message for that is uh, shown for example if you enter t-shirt uh, then uh, you'll have to place the order uh, from a particular valid source and the same goes for the cancellation and directly cancels out the uh, uh, order that you want to place uh, from the WhatsApp itself. So uh, that was uh, much about the workflow there. And uh, now let's see the admin backend panel. What different configurations are there for this particular plugin? And uh, let's hop onto the admin backend panel now. And in the same way, the registered customers can also uh, do the same. The registered as well as the guest users can place the orders using the uh, WhatsApp uh, there. So we'll just be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username and the password for the same. Now after the successful installation of this particular plugin, the admin will have the WhatsApp uh, purchase assistant uh, option on the side panel here. And uh, tapping that up would bring three different tabs. One is the general product and the notification. So under the general, you'll have to enter your Twilio WhatsApp number, uh, the SID account ID and the authentication token that I've already shown you. You can check the user guide for more details, how to get it, and then you enter these details here. Now under the product tab, we have different options for the product view page settings, whether you wanna enable uh, the product view page settings or not. Uh, you can set up the button text label, purchase on WhatsApp. So whenever this label is basically visible on the front end on the product, uh, or basically for the product within the cart as well, you can see this particular label in the cart. Uh, you can choose to uh, set up the product listing page uh, settings, whether you want to enable the WhatsApp uh, icon there or not. And you can set up the button label text. Same goes with the cart page setting as well. Uh, you can choose it as a yes. You can set up the button text label and you can choose the option to hide uh, the proceed to checkout button or not. If you want to hide the proceed to checkout, the default one, you'll have to choose it as a uh, uh, yes otherwise if you want to display the proceed to checkout button along with the uh, proceed to checkout using the whatsapp then uh, you'll have to choose it as a yes lastly just tap here in the save button to save the first two configuration and lastly we have the notification section so here uh, you'll have to enter your notification text for the customer before they are placing the order through the whatsapp and uh, this is a message that they will see before pay, uh, before placing the order through the WhatsApp itself. So that's the notification text product page at the front end on the WhatsApp web that they see within the uh, WhatsApp number with which they are chatting. They can enable the order place notification as well. They can choose a yes or a no for that. You can also enable the order place notification method. So whenever the order is placed, you will see this particular uh, uh, message. This is a customizable message. You can set it up as per your own requirement there. You can also enable the order cancellation notification, then uh, the order number has been canceled would be visible to the customer within the uh, WhatsApp there itself as I've already shown you. So uh, uh, that was much about the uh, plugin itself. Uh, that's the WooCommerce uh, WhatsApp uh, Purchase Assistant plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow. If you still have any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, then kindly do reach back to us at support at the data of raise a ticket at webcooler.tvdisk.com, contact us through uh, webcooler.com forward slash contacts, and if you find this particular video helpful, then do do kindly give it a thumbs up. And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video, and have